Hi, welcome to the unit review of Mummy. In this video, I'm going to talk about the general purpose of the unit, her pros and cons, and her uses in the formations in general, the abilities and the stats. Overall, most of the Mummy's kit is revolved around stress damage and uh, curses and the loss of luck. Um, the key feature um, gives every enemy who is attacking the mummy a minus on luck, which is quite interesting because um, this won't run out. You'll have this until the end of the combat or until you get a debuff removal. And uh, let's have a look on the luck while we're at the mummy here. So this is the likelihood of landing a critical hit. But the interesting thing here is negative luck on the target increases the luck of the attacker. So basically another uh, option how to use the mummy is not exactly visible at the first glance but you can use the mummy quite effectively to enhance uh, damage combos in her crit chance. I wanted to put this out in the uh, general overview because this is a very very uh, important feature of the mummy and will guide us through it the abilities. Apart from uh, doing stress damage the mummy is most of the time very happy in the front slots of your formation. The guy is quite tanky and um, apart from that well the rest will come with the abilities. So let's get into that topic next. First off we have the cursing touch. Um, we have a pretty high impact stress damage and a curse which will malinger two more turns and do exactly the same amount of damage. This is in terms of damage over time uh, one of the strongest skills the game has to offer. Um, we have an extension in duration or in or flat out more damage. This is a uh, very very powerful and um, very limited though to the front line so clear strengths and weaknesses but I do like this skill a lot. Next up will be the clinging wraps as you can see it's a uh, a back row skill and it's a physical damage skill and the only physical damage skill on the unit. The base scaling is pretty high with 120%. The luck loss of the unit here is uh, synergizing with the mummy uh, herself pretty well and it pulls an enemy forward. You can upgrade that to loss of even more luck or uh, the loss of luck will be until the battle end instead of two, just two turns. Um, since this skill has a 120% uh, scaling on physical damage, um, basically you can uh, use this skill to have a second mummy in your formation to buff the um, strength of the other mummy in the same time. <laughs> and with its high base damage the skill will be quite effective anyways. But uh, since you uh, increase attack and dread uh, separately, this is a very very specialized idea, but uh, if you want to use several mummies in your formation, it is a very interesting uh, idea to do that for uh, one guy in your formation to reduce luck on the enemy side. So, next skill is the impending horror. Deals stress damage to a target and the an enemy behind that and shoves the mummy one square ahead already. Uh, it's again an attack which only hits the front line similar as with the other and uh, we can upgrade that to uh, a wider range and a shove back for the enemy or a ward ignorance and the same stats as before so two targets with 75 percent scaling pretty neat um, the upgrades make for uh, pretty interesting choices as well as you can see um, the mummy has a uh, already here two skills available to move enemy units here only within uh, within specialization but still um, but apart from that this is your go-to skill to move the mummy uh, on the slot where you want to have it well it takes a while it's only one field per turn but at least it does double damage you can reach the third the third square with it uh, on itself and with this upgrade it basically attacks the whole formation if you want to so next up absorb cor curses remove all debuffs from your allies and get vigor for each removed debuff a wonderful skill in itself um 
this skill alone makes the mummy worth picking up for any uh, sort of enemy which uh, relies have more heavily on debuffs. So this is also a key feature of the mummy which I kind of forgot to talk about uh, in the general summary but uh, well the mummy is full of interesting interactions so it was uh, quite impossible to speak of them all. So you can use this as a debuff cleanse for your whole team. But you can also use this to strip the buffs from your enemies. The Vigor gain will be reduced, yet still you can debuff the whole enemy team without use of Wrath. This is a basic skill usable from any slot. Um, counterpart upgrade is upgrading the Vigor more, uh, the Vigor gain more, and uh, still a debuff strip for your team. Very powerful, very versatile, but also pretty specialized and almost always needs some kind of knowledge what lies ahead of you. It, I mean, you, you must know what your enemies can do, or um, you must know that your enemies buff themselves a lot, or combo it up with the Lost Soul to uh, force buff your enemies. That's also a use to uh, get the Absorb power running. Next up is the Hex Beam, a uh, one of the few skills which is also usable from the third slot. A AoE stress attack with a pretty uh, low uh, base damage, but a pretty high uh, conditional damage if the mummy has a debuff. We can upgrade that to even more damage on debuff or more base damage. Well, what can I say? It's your basic go-to uh, stress damage AoE. I really use this skill a lot. And I think the conditional extra damage here is pretty useful if you picked the mummy in the third in in advance of knowing that you're facing enemies which are using a lot of debuffs but if that's not given the skill is rather uh, subpar the other idea you could use is to uh, bring debuffs on the mummy by other units like the lost soul again because uh, i don't have one right now give me a sec so uh skills like um the dubious boon I'm not exactly sure, but the 20% less damage could be a debuff. I'm, uh, but I'm, I, I'm, no, I think that won't work. Feel free to drop that there, comment down below if I'm actually able to drop debuffs on the mummy by, on my own, because honestly, I don't know that yet. <laughs> so, Amplify Curses is the stress attack uh, ultimate. 200% scaling, an additional uh, point of damage for each point of negative luck. We can uh, upgrade that to uh, a to be a debuff um, extender by two more turns, which is a, quite a lot, or uh, bring up more stress damage per negative luck. If you want to uh, go for multi mummies, this is your you're going to use you're going to do a lot of damage with that. Apart from that, if even if the enemy has no negative luck at all you're doing uh, a 200% stress attack. It's pretty uh, costly to do though, 60 wrath. And overall, this is one ultimate I personally use not so much. But as with a lot of the skills with the mummy herself, this also needs some preparation to shine. And this is uh, the whole uh, big downside of the mummy personally. A lot of her skills need preparation, um, some special uh, environment or some strategy planned up ahead to really shine. If you just drop the mummy in your formation, you won't be doing much wrong with that, apart from uh, the fact if you're expecting a lot of physical damage or magic damage, you're not getting uh, delivered anything. But as a stress damage dealer, the mummy always fulfills a pretty powerful uh, for, um, function. You can drop this guy into your formations without uh, further thinking. But if you're able to think ahead a little bit and uh, use like um, skills that uh, okay, no. that that um, make the mummy benefit a little bit harder from her uh, skills or her specializations, the power on this unit will rise tremendously. Like, let alone if you're somehow able to uh, sum up negative luck, this uh, ultimate is uh, going to be really hitting like a truck. Um, you're also going to achieve a lot of damage with a hex beam once there's a debuff on the mummy. Well, you can't really control that. 
but uh, the loss of lock also opens up uh, a lot of uh, combo potential for units that have an extra critical damage, like the Bride of Eratus uh, is featuring an extra damage on the critical hits, and uh, you can force a lot of crits also with negative luck. So overall, you see, the mummy is a quite complicated person, but if you're able to manage uh, some strategy around it, I really like the unit. And uh, let's get into the stats before I put down my verdict overall. We have uh, six points of increasement open for attack and dread. Um, vigor with five points. So you see, these are rather mediocre slots. Initiative only has two points of uh, two upgrades. So I'm not too surprised about that. We're not supposed to see a fast mummy, don't we? Accuracy is also uh, on a pretty low um, amount of upgrades, but the base stats are pretty decent, so that's not too bad. Um, the luck is pretty uh, solid here with 30% uh, after two upgrades, so the base stats would, are also pretty high. EV, block, and ward are all pretty low. This also... This all looks pretty bad in terms of the numbers, how often you can upgrade it, but the base stats are pretty decent. Having a flat block and ward is a big, big advantage, and the high amount of luck is pretty nice. The pretty decent accuracy, I think this is something about 100% when you start it. So the base stats are okay, you can't upgrade it uh, too specialized, but well, as you might have noticed with the abilities already, being kind of a jack of all trades of stress damage is the mummy's key role. So I really do like this uh, unit a lot. I use her uh, not as often as I could because I... Um, I'm most of the time just too lazy to come up with the uh, proper combinations, but uh, if you need somebody to remove debuffs from your team or somebody to uh, combo up on a stress-based uh, uh, formation, you're really going to get some bang for your buck. I hope this helped you out about the mummy a little bit. Feel free to drop me a comment down below about well, whatever you have on your mind. I would deeply appreciate any support on this video. Be that a share with your friends, a like on this video, or even a subscription to my channel. Do whatever feels good for you. I hope you enjoyed this video enough to check out the next unit review as well. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.